Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing what my usual smoothie is. So, you, it's like a smoothie, so there's like a blender and you put a cup in it. So, what I like to put in, I like to put in pink dragon fruit. These are all frozen, pink dragon fruit, frozen raspberries, blueberries and a bit of mango. I like to put in sometimes sausage in to um, make it a little bit... So I can have more nutrition in it. I also use coconut water. I use some oats. Not much left in there. And I use milk. So that's my usual smoothie. And then you obviously blend it. So. If you guys don't have anything like this at home and you want to try it, just so you know, it's really good. Um, the, you have kind of have to have something like this because otherwise it won't blend properly. So like any kind of smoothie maker is good. Okay, I put in the dragon fruit. Oh, it's a new packet. So I like put in the dragon fruit and then I put in the raspberries. The rasp it all comes out like pink. And it's just a really nice smoothie. It has no added sugar to it. It's really good. So, this scissors is so blunt. Got it. So, what I like to do is I like to do the, um, as I said, the. Just a tip, guys, if something's frozen like in the bag, like you can bang on the bench or something to your last yet. Yeah. And so I put the raspberries in. I put a lot of berries in because me personally, I don't like like dairy kind of things. I don't like dairy that much, so they're nice smoothies. So I usually do more berry smoothies. I put a little bit of dairy in, which is the milk, but other than that, I don't use dairy in this movie. Sometimes I put yogurt in it. I, right now I don't have any yogurt, so I can't, but sometimes I will put yogurt in. So after the raspberries, I do blueberries, and then after that, I do mango. I only do a couple pieces of mango because Otherwise, it kind of is weird to the berry kind of theme to it. So, let me put my sausage in. I don't put that much in because me personally, don't, I don't need that much. But I just put a little bit in to get a little bit more nutrition. So when I use the coconut water, I only put about half in. I do half of it and I use the next half the next day. But I only use half because otherwise there's no room for milk. Oh wait, I need to put the oats in. To put the waters and the, like the liquids in last. And you're not actually supposed to go past the max line. I just spilled it. <laughs> you're not supposed to go past the max line on your skin maker. So now I put my coconut water in. I do it to about the 200 ml line. That's about half. Then I just put it there for the next day. And then I put my milk in. I personally use light milk because the dark milk gives my tummy gives me stomach aches. Stomach aches. Well, that much milk. And then I already plugged. You need to plug the blender in. So you have to make sure when you put the blade on, you have to put the blade on really tight so it doesn't like swell. The reason why you can't go over the max line is because if you 
put the blade in, then it might like overflow and it won't blend properly. So I usually make it like frappes and I check it if it's tight enough over the sink. So I like mine like frozen. Hang on, I'll talk to you guys after. Um, this part's the noisy part. So. shake it so I get all of the stuff. It's kind of hard to do that when it's like frozen. So it's really quick. You don't really, it's not that hard to pack up because they're all already like in containers. So it's a good easy smoothie. Make sure to wash this as soon as you're done because otherwise it might get stuck. And then I would say if you're making the one that I'm making, use a spoon for it, not a lid, because you can get um lids for them like this, but I don't think it'll come through that, so I usually just use a spoon and spoon it out. So it's kind of more like gelato I guess, but yeah. That's what I usually eat for lunch. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Um, hope to see you next time. And just remember to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. So, bye.